We begin in Payson, where a group of about 75 protesters showed up to Nebo Middle School today. They say it's an issue over students who call themselves furries. The term furry, it refers to someone interested in animals with human qualities. Now, they dress up like this as a cartoon version of an animal. Now, we've learned there have been reports at Nebo Middle School that students are getting mistreated over this topic. Parents say there's an issue between some students and others who call themselves furries or people who enjoy dressing up as cartoonish animals. Is Strudel, a member of the furry fandom. Though they've been a furry for over a decade, they have their own opinions. It's crazy that it's escalated to this point where these kids are being so distracting to their peers that their peers want to stage a walkout. So to have, you know, the next generation kind of muddy our name and um, not represent it very well, it is kind of disappointing. Are they wearing a mask every day? Yes, yes, yes. 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 but every time they go, they're always just wearing a mask, but the principal finally stood up and banned those folks. But they, have, but they still wear them every day. Yeah, they don't, and they, and they don't get in trouble. They the principal us. doesn't get to make them get in trouble. Yeah. All, all the principal says is just be kind, be nice, be nice. And then, and what's the point of dressing up like a furry? Just, I don't know. They think they're so cool that they want to get a lot of attention. They want attention. So people can come at them and just look at them and think that they're so cool. Okay. Are you guys going to be in trouble for walking out of school today? No, maybe. We might have do your parents know you guys are out here? Yes. Yes. Okay. They attack us. They fight us and we just kick them. We get in trouble. They attack us. They attack us and we get in trouble. How else do they attack you guys? They either bite us, they scratch us, they bark at us. They pounce on us. Why are they spraying you with Febreze? Just because they don't. Because, because we, apparently we have rabies. And, they, and, they, so and there's a rumor that they've been putting litter boxes in the girls' bathroom. And the boys. And they started they're putting litter boxes. Litter boxes. Yeah, they're 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 litter boxes. I heard that was just a rumor. No, it's no, 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 it's not. Yeah. Is it something you've seen? Yeah. yeah. They're putting okay. litter boxes in the bathroom. So we can't talk or say anything to the furries or even look at them, but they can come look at us and they can say stuff to us and touch us. And we can, they can get in trouble, what we, we get in trouble. We Interesting. That sounds like a double standard to me. Yes. Okay, you guys stay on the sidewalk, okay? First off, give that man the Pulitzer Prize. That yep. <laughs> is journalism right there. Follow-up questions, challenging the narrative. Are those rumors about kitty litter boxes? I mean, Jesus Christ. Genuinely, Dave, in case anybody missed some of that, because I know all the kids were talking over each other, uh, those are children, kids, walking out of school with their parents' permission. Good for those parents, by the way, for encouraging this type of activism. But walked out of school to protest policies on furries. And in case you didn't catch that, at their school in Utah, not Seattle, not Denver, not New York City or Los Angeles, but in Utah, kids get to come to school wearing full furry garb and masks pee in litter boxes in the bathrooms, bite other students, get on all fours and pounce on other students and start scratching them, spray them with Febreze. I'm not really sure why that's happening. Right, wait, wait, wait. Can we just and the principal's can... response is, oh, just be kind, just be nice. Can we just really? pause on the Febreze one? I'm a little confused on the, shouldn't the regular child be spraying the, the furry with Febreze? You Febreze think... is a, isn't it a fabric? It's not a softener. It's a fabric, uh, scent, you know, scent. It's gonna Febreze make me... is like air freshener, right. scented air freshener. But wouldn't you but... spray it on? I'm saying you'd spray it on like a carpet, or you might spray yeah. it on a, on a couch or something. So wouldn't you spray it on a furry who maybe just peed in a litter box? That would what make sense. Why are the that furries? Would make more sense, but you know, here we are in 2024. The thing that really got me is, I'm sorry, other kids are biting you at school and the principal's response is, ah, just be nice, just be nice to them. I mean, there, there's so much craziness there and it goes to a lot of the themes that we talk about here often. First off, I put the blame at the parents. If you have created the conditions that your child thinks that they are a cat and then you encourage them or allow them to dress as a cat to then go to school, uh, that's first off the parents' fault. I mean, I get you know, there's a, another layer of just like the culture's fault, but mm -hmm. but it's the parent number one. But then number two, like you would think in a normal 
school situation, uh, if there was a functioning administration or sensible adults in charge of schools, which apparently that you know I, you'd have to be in a time warp to find, uh, they would say, you know, um, this kid dressing up as a cat, we probably shouldn't be encouraging this. Maybe they can talk to a counselor or something. But next thing you know, you allow one, and then of course these things are a social contagion. So now you have two cats, three cats. You've got a uh, what do they call it? Just if you have a whole bushel of cats, is there a word for that? Like a whole, you got I don't a whole know litter what a group of cats, cats is called. That's a good question. Yeah, um, and it's not just cats. I assume it's dogs and whatever. But yes, biting them and 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 uh. yeah. Oh, a, so a, oh, first a of group all, of kittens is called a collective. I've been informed. A collective. Yeah, uh. that sounds right. Doesn't it sound right? I was going to say coven, but yeah, collective is probably appropriate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. It's called it's called a clouder. I've never heard that. It, uh, yeah, it's a clouder of kittens. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. Coven huh. does sound right, though. That really does sound right.